Welcome, it's the UKWF Havoc. We're coming live out of Dublin, Ireland. And tonight we've got an action packed card. Let's kick the show off now. It looks like our general manager White has got something on his mind that he wants to address the Havoc audience with. So there you have it, we're going to have new debuts, we're going to have title defences and we're going to kick it off with one of those debuts now. This is a singles competition and this man here is Kobe Ashi. Kobayashi started his career in Japan and he's now on his one year to two year tour building up experience before he goes back possibly to Japan only time will tell but if he makes his name for himself here in the UKWF he may become a permanent fixture but being the free agent that he is will he land here in Havoc or will he land in Rampage or maybe even other pastures new? Only time will tell. Let's we'll see how good this man is. And here's another debut here on UKWF Havoc, Jake Owens. He's a cruiser weight, but likes to mix it up with the big guys. So only time will tell which division he aims to go for. Trained here in the UK. Certainly not sure on confidence. So, Kobayashi versus Jake Owens. Down to the referee. Let's go. They lock up. Owens with that brain buster. Kobayashi breaking through with a punch to the midsection now. Delivers a drop kick, taking Owens off his feet. But Owens now counters with a punch to the midsection of his own. Maybe actually slips through. What is Gardner doing here? 
kick to the back there by Kobayashi. Who knows what Gardner's doing out here at the ringside and what he's up to. Double foot stomp there to the stomach of Owens and then a kick to the chest. Looks like Gardner is here in support of Owens. Comes to the midsection, clothesline into the corner, dropping Kobayashi to the floor. Now Owens stomping a mud hole in him. What a move there by Owens. Owens now getting the Havoc crowd behind him. He takes his eyes off Kobayashi. He drops him onto his head on that top turnbuckle. Irish whip into the ropes. Rolling forearm. Kobayashi eats a jaw breaker for his troubles though. Fireman's carry takedown by Kobayashi, counter in Owens. Owens slips through, delivers a forearm to the back. Face buster there. Fireman's carry into the neck breaker. Attacking that neck joint again. Into the pin. One, two, and Kobayashi kicks out. Owens again lifts Kobayashi from the neck, off the floor, drops him on his back. Kobayashi slowly getting to his feet. Owens on the apron here. Springboard forearm there. Into the cover. Center of the ring. Hooks a leg. One, two. And Kobayashi manages to get the shoulder up. Owens thought he had made his dream debut there. Gardner still looking to be watching. Kobayashi again slowly getting to his feet. Owens on the apron. All a neck breaker there by Owens. Owens whips Kobayashi into the corner. Kobayashi breaks free. Lifts him up. And a European uppercut as Owens was dropping down eats an uppercut there by Kobayashi Owens now slowly crawling to the ropes to get himself up Kobayashi letting him get there snapmare takedown Kobayashi again breaking free with a punch in the midsection there big forearm side suplex there Kobayashi now trying to get this crowd behind him. German suplex there by Kobayashi. Kick to the back. Stomp to that arm. Same arm that delivered that phenomenal forearm smash. And again, attacking that arm. Looks to pick him up, but Owens breaks free with a European uppercut. Backbreaker. Owens now picks Kobayashi up, but Kobayashi breaks free and uses a shoulder block tackle there to knock Owens to the floor. Picks him up with a gut wrench, side slam. Rolls into another one, still holding on. Are we looking for a hat trick here? There we see it. Hat trick, a gut wrench, side slam. European uppercut from Owens, so breaking free. Rolls him up, looking to make him submit there. Has that calf locked in, but Kobayashi breaking out now with an elbow strike to the back. But Owens again back to his feet now. Power bomb into the bridge. One, two, one, just a one count, I think. Kicked out before the two could land. Kobayashi again getting to his feet with that. Owens on the apron, looking for that forearm, but misses. He misses the forearm. Okay. 
chin breaker there from Owens on Kobayashi. Gardner seems to be approving of what Owens is delivering so far. Jaw breaker by Kobayashi though. With a big powerful kick to the leg of Kobayashi. But Kobayashi now trying to get out. Delivers a forearm smash into that power bomb, into the pin. One, two. Owens kicks out, but Kobayashi keeps a hold and rolls him through into the Boston Crab. Is this going to make Owens submit? No, Owens manages to hook the leg and break out. Gardner shouting at Owens to get up. Delivers an insiguri as Kobayashi was trying to pick him up by the legs. Byron's carry into the neck breaker. Goes to pick Kobayashi up, but Kobayashi breaks free of a punch to the midsection. Picks him up again and delivers another four um, European uppercut. Drag takedown by Owens. Kobayashi counted and delivered a forearm smash. German suplex. Gana looking a little concerned for Owens. Again, Kobayashi going to that arm. Owens now breaking free of a jawbreaker. Snap suplex there. Stomp to the face of Kobayashi. Looks to pick him up, but Kobayashi breaks free and delivers a dragon screw takedown. Again, stomping at those arms. And again lifts him up straight from his feet and delivers a European uppercut as Owens is coming back down towards the mat. Kobayashi up, taunting that crowd, trying to get them hyped behind him, trying to build that momentum, but Owens again breaking out with an arm drag takedown. Looking to make him submit. Has the calf crush locked in. Again, Kobayashi manages to break out with that elbow to strike to the back. Now Owens getting slammed down to the mat by his head. Kobayashi stalking him, waiting for him to get to his feet though. What we're going to see here. A neutraliser. Kobayashi into the pin. One, two, just a two count and Owens manages to kick out. Kobayashi looking frustrated. Thought he'd done enough there to win the victory. Owens, real breaker. What's this? Rolls him over into the pin. One, two. No, manages to kick out on two. Both men back to their feet and instantly Owens delivers a clash. Straight into the pin. Two, three, and Owens is the victor on his debut. Owens picks up the victory. And there you see it. The clash. Rolls him over into the pin. One, two, three. Gardner looks impressed, giving Owens a clap on the outside there. So, one debut down, we move on, and we're going to move on to what has become a staple of UKWF Havoc here. The rivalry between Casey Marsh and Amazon Ashley Ray. Casey now coming down to the ring, but Amazon sneaking up behind her, delivers that face buster on the ramp, now looking to make Casey Marsh go into agony there by stretching that back over her knees, Casey Marsh fighting back though, and it was in roll through, delivers a forearm across the back, drop kick to the back of the head, 
Ashley now making her way down towards the ring. Casey Marsh back to her feet, comes running at Ashley. But Ashley counters with a hurricane runner. And again, Ashley backing down towards the ring. Looks like this match is going to kick off now. Both competitors in the ring. Casey catching her forearm, now whipped into the ropes. Fez press there. No! She gets up and starts slamming Casey's head down to the mat. I thought she'd gone into a Fez press there. Crowd don't seem to be impressed. Casey now getting up to her feet. Gets whipped into the corner. Delivers an elbow stroke. Breaks free. Delivers a heel kick to the midsection of Amazon. Delivers a forearm across the back. Has a side headlock locked in. Picks her up. And delivers a suplex. Here we see the leg drop. Followed up by a second leg drop. Stomp to the body of Amazon. Amazon now breaking free of an elbow strike to the midsection. Tornado Hurricane Rana. Telling Casey, get up. Casey's laid out though in the middle of the ring. Slowly now looking to get to her feet. The wheelbarrow into the arm drag takedown. Ashley there catching him with a slap to the face. Back drop with the kip up. Casey now slowly getting to her feet. Amazon stalking her, waiting for her to get up. Into that sit down powerbomb though. One, two, three, and this match is over already. The sneak attack there by Amazon Ashley Ray had done the damage already. Just finished it off with the sit down powerbomb. There she is, your victor. It doesn't look like she's finished with Casey just yet. She's starting to the vicious stomps there to the body of Casey. Defenseless on the mat. The match was over. But Amazon has said, I'm sending you a message here. There she is, standing over the victim, Casey Marsh. We can't stop there. The action has to continue and we're going into tag team action here with the Dream Team. Dallas and Zach. Dream Team are in the ring, and their opponent, another debuting team here on Havoc, the Hit Squad, made up of Andre Cole and Azaya. Andre on the left, or closest to us on the screen at this moment in time, Azaya now making his way into the ring. making an impact here on Havoc by taking on the Dream Team. Dallas and Andre Cole are going to start this match off. Referee underway. Side suplex there to da Andre. But Andre back to his feet now, breaking out of Dallas's control with that shoulder block tackle. Lifts Dallas to his feet. Still has him in that side headlock looking for the suplex. Dallas blocks and delivers a suplex of his own. Big boot across the back there of Andre Cole by Dallas. And another. Followed up by a stomp. Dallas picks him up by a gut wrench. And drops him on his back. 
stomped to the back of the head by Dallas. Andre Cole breaks free, European uppercut. Dallas soon to quickly grab him again and whips him into the ropes, looking for that drop kick but misses. Forearm smash there. Andre Cole looking for the boot in the midsection but gets the leg caught there by Dallas, who's now delivering the one leg Boston grab. But Andre Cole breaks free, pushes Dallas away with his other leg. Such strength there shown there by the big man, Andre Cole. Delivers a suplex. Andre Cole now tagging in his partner Isaiah. Not before delivering another forearm to Dallas. Dallas with the belly the back suplex there on Isaiah. And it looks like Zach Griffiths is now going to get into this match. Not Dallas isn't finished. Zach Griffiths Isaiah into the ropes. Looks to deliver that German suplex, but Isaiah counters. Now delivers a German of his own. Pulling at that mask of Zach. Zach now breaking free. Isaiah blocks and delivers a forearm smash. That wrestling slam there driving Zach into the mat. Looking to go attack the legs now, but Zach pushes Isaiah away with that. Dallas now tagged back in. Fishman suplex. Jose again breaking through that European uppercut. Slamming Dallas down to the mat on his face. Delivering a boot to the back. Quick toss there. Jose looking for it but Dallas rolls through and delivers a neck breaker. I'm going to stomp to the face. Isaiah shoots, take Dallas off his feet. Picks him up, looks for that belly the back suplex. Dallas breaks through with the elbow to the head. Slams Isaiah down to the mat now. Stomping on the back. Dallas dragging him to the centre of the ring. Elbow drop to the chest. Just whipped into the corner there. Dream Team's corner. What we're going to see here, the double team. A small package pole driver rolls him over to his partner, Zach. He delivers the suplex. Into the pin. One. Two. Kick out on two. That Andre Cold eats a German suplex by Dallas who was running interference for the pin. Isaiah breaking out though with a knee to the head of Zach. Misses with the boot to the back. Zach looks to grab Isaiah but he rolls through. Now delivers a back drop of his own. Zach with the arm drag takedown. Isaiah down to one knee. Picked up by Zach. Delivers a suplex. Isaiah again to one knee. Zach again locks up. Looks like he's bringing him to the corner of the Dream Team. He's going for a double team move. Whips him into the turnbuckle. Dallas looking to attack the leg, but Isaiah breaks free with a boot to the side of the head. Whips Dallas into the corner of the hit squad. Delivers a shoulder thrust, dropping Dallas to the floor. Now stomping a hole in the chest of Dallas. Isaiah picks Dallas up. Delivers a suplex. Isaiah now been in this ring a long time. Whips Dallas into the corner of the hit squad yet again. Dallas breaks through with the arm drag takedown. Isaiah sees the shoot and grabs the back of Dallas and delivers a forearm across it. He's get caught and whipped into the Dream Team's corner yet again. 
Again, Dream Team looking for a double team, pulling at that leg. Isaiah laid out in the centre of the ring. Managed to throw Zach over his shoulder. Isaiah in the corner, stomping away. Looks like he's looking to finish things here. The super kick. Super kick to the face of Zach Griffiths. Rolls him up, hooks the leg. One, two, and only gets a two count. I thought that was it. I thought he'd finished the match there. Dallas has taken out the referee. Take down there by Zach. Referee now getting to his feet. Rope break there from the pin. Andre Cole with the forearm across the back of Zach. Rolls him over, delivers a neck breaker there. Andre Cole now coming back out of the ring. Isaiah and Zach both laid out. Zach the first to make any sort of movement now, looking to crawl towards the ropes. Isaiah to his feet though. Zach still on his knees. Picked up by Isaiah. Counters the intentional blow with a forearm of his own. Would get eat a blow to the midsection there. And now a forearm in the back, bouncing him off the ropes. Rocks him to the floor. Isaiah. Whips Zach into the corner of the hip squad. Tags in his partner, Andre Cole now. Attacks for the leg of Zach Griffiths over that double team. Zach managed to push Andre Cole away. Andre whipped into the corner of the dream team. Shoulder tackle to take Isaiah off the side of the apron there. But it's a boot. Andre Cole there with that spinning neck breaker. As he goes to pick Zach, eats a blow to the face. Back now waiting for Andre to get to his feet. Hefty power bomb there delivered by Zach. Drags Andre to the centre of the ring. Instead of going for the pin, decides to taunt this crowd here. Into the corner. Andre Cole breaks free. What a counter there. Zach Griffiths avoiding. Ducks under the clothesline. Delivers a flying clothesline of his own. Picks him up off the floor. Whoops him into that turnbuckle, misses with a flying shoulder tackle though. Andre Cole breaks out, throws Zach into the corner himself. Looks to sit him up on that top turnbuckle. Zach there with the boot to the chest. Double axe handle there to the top of the head. Top of the head of Andre Cole. Andre Cole though breaks free, with the pushing up Zach off him with his feet. What a slam there by Andre Cole. Zach now back to his feet, delivers a shoulder block tackle, takes Andre off his, whips him into the corner of the dream team but again. Looking for that double team. Smooth package pile driver. Rolling him through to his partner Dallas who looks for that suplex. Is it gonna connect? It does. Dallas in for the pin, hooking the leg in the corner of the dream team. One, two, and only a two count, and Andre Cole manages to kick out. Armbreaker there by Andre. Snap suplex. Drags him towards the centre of the ring, hooks the leg in for the pin. One, two, just a two count though. No dream debut yet for the hit squad here on Havoc. Dallas breaking through the punch in the midsection. Back 
to his feet now. But Andre Cole dodges him and tosses him out of the ring through the ropes. Dallas laid on the floor here outside the ring. Isaiah now been tagged into this match. Dallas now getting to his feet. Referee counting away. Isaiah flung into that ring post. Breaks free now with the shoulder block tackle. Looks to pick Dallas up. Looking for that suplex out on the outside here. But Dallas blocks and delivers one of his own. Dropping him on his back on the mat. So outside the ring here. Dallas with that final carry takedown. Oh, sorry, Isaiah with the final carry takedown. Field breaker from Dallas. Back and forth between these two out here. Andre Cole gets a hold of Dallas though. Tosses him back to, into the ring. Dallas delivers a forearm across the face of Andre Cole, dropping him on top of Isaiah. Isaiah slowly getting to his feet. Is he going to make it in time before the count? And the Dream Team pick up a cheap victory here by a count out over the hit squad. There you see Andre Cole landing on top of Isaiah after eating a forearm from Dallas. Referees counting still. Isaiah slowly getting to his feet, looking onto one knee. And there you have it, the 10 count. And your victors, the Dream Team. Looking quite pleased with themselves here, picking a victory up over the debuting tag team. Is that the last we'll see of the hit squad here on Havoc? Or will they continue to feature? Only general manager Wyatt knows the answer to that one. And now we're going to move on. And this is for the Cruiserweight Havoc Championship. Now entering the arena. AWF Havoc's King of Strong Style, former Cruiserweight Champion, Satoru Yamashita. This is no ordinary ladder match. This is a six man cruiserweight title ladder match. So, we have Satoru Yamashita. And now coming down to the ring, representing Anarchy. Is Only 
popular member of the Dream Team here on Havoc, Chase Walker. Confident swagger as he walks down to the ring. Could this man here be the new Cruiserweight title holder? Does he have what it takes to beat five other men up that ladder? Pick that title off the hook. So, Shatori Yamashita at Chase Walker, who's next to enter the arena. Well, none other than the champ himself. Xander Diamond Drake, the current Havoc Cruiserweight Champion. Does he have what it takes to climb that ladder and beat these five other men for his title? We'll soon find out. And contender number five for the belt now entering the arena, representing the Wolfpack, is Spider. Presenting the Nation of Domination is Drake Alexander. So here it is, the six cruiserweights for the title in this ladder match. Drake Alexander of the Nation of Domination. Spider of the Wolfpack, Chase Walker of the Dream Team, Axe of Anarchy, the King of Strong Style, Chaturi Yamashita, and the champion himself, Xander Diamond Drake. The men are ready, down to the ref, and he says, let's go. It's going to be hard for me to keep up with the action here, but I'll do my best. Xander, the only man left in the ring. Chase Walker, going for that ladder. Taturu, attacking Drake Alexander. Delivers that neck breaker. Xander now with the ladder, attacking Chase Walker. Axe into the ring. Drop kick there by Chase drops Alexander uh, Drake to the floor. Axe with a roll through on Spider. No pins count here. Big boot by Diamond Drake. German suplex there by Satori Yamashita. 
Aeroplane spin in the top left corner by Axe. It's a drop spider on the mat on the outside of the apron here. Chase with that leg sweep. Flying clothesline by Drake. All six men outside the ring here. Arm drag takedown by Diamond. Full arm across that. Another German there by Saturi Yamashita on Drake. Axe attacking Spider. Full arm across the back. Saturi now into the ring. Looking to set up that ladder. Neck breaker by Axe. Saturi and Axe now. Centre of the ring. Saturi climbing that ladder. Axe following up. Spider grabs a hold of that ladder. Saturu hanging by the title. Electric chair drop. Drake picks that ladder up. Attacks Saturu with the ladder across the legs. Saturu now laid out in the ring. Helped up by Spider. Eats a European uppercut though. Drake, a nation of domination, holding that title. Eats a punch to the midsection and another. The spider pushes the ladder from underneath, catches him on his shoulders again, delivers another electric chair drop. Drake rolling out of the ring. The spider whips Chase into the pit. Axe tosses him over his shoulder though. And now Spider whips Diamond into the corner. Double axe hand across the back and another. Sits him up on that top turn buckle. Falling side slam there. Chase with the ladder in hand. Looking to bring it into the ring now. Drake with the other ladder. He gets that taken away from him by Spider. Satoru now looking to set the ladder up in the ring. Smashes axe with it. Ladder falling down on Chase Walker there. Satoru grabs a hold of axe, whips him into the corner. Looks to give him a boot to the midsection, but Axe counters, delivers a Hurricane Rana. Chase now attacking Axe, whips him into the corner. Slams him into the turnbuckle, keeps a hold of him, rolls through, delivers a German suplex. Forearm smash there by Saturo on Drake. Diamond waiting for Spider to get to his feet. Delivers the Diamond Cutter. Draw breaker from Drake on Satoru. Arm drag takedown there by Chase. Diamond smashes Spider with that ladder. Now eats the ladder himself by Chase Walker. Drake looking for Satoru to get to his feet, looking for that nation's fist. It gets caught by Satoru. Satoru pushes the ladder from underneath Chase. Now that there's an electric chair drop to him. Forearm smash there by Diamond. He's out of the ring. Saturu now cleaning house. Throws Spider out of the ring too. But Axe Ax back into the ring. Saturu and Axe climb that ladder. Axe has a hold of Saturu. Saturu breaking through. Punches to the midsection. No, Axe still has a hold of him. Gets dropped to the mat by Saturu. A counter there by Saturu. Dropping Axe from the top of that ladder. Has that Titan in hand. Chase smashing him in the back though. Drake Diamond pushes the ladder from underneath him. And Chase catches him in that electric chair drop. Spider whipping to the corner. Breaks out of the knee to the face of Diamond. Now gets caught and thrown to the outside. Diamond with that ladder in hand. Eats a, four, a punch to the face there from Drake. Rolls to the outside, so we have three bodies laying on the outside of the ring here. Drake whoops Chase into the corner. X sets up that ladder centre of the ring. Chase breaking out, delivers a DDT to Drake. X top of that ladder, title in hand. Chase delivering forearms to the lower back. And another, now Saturi joining in. X. Let go of that title now. Wobbly on the top of that ladder. 
Diamond slowly getting to his feet on the outside. Chase again delivers the forearm. Diamond climbing up that ladder, delivering punches to the midsection. Looks like Chase is pushing the ladder, and he has. Both men come crashing down to the mat. Saturo whips Chase to the outside. Saturo now needs to pick the ladder up. Diamond Drake and Drake in the ring. Saturo sets that ladder up. He gets caught by Spider and slammed into that ladder. Saturo draw breaker to Spider. Whipped into the corner. Saturo steps free. Whip Spider to the outside. Saturo now slides back into the ring. Looks to climb that ladder. Both him and Chase at the top of that ladder. Chase with that big forearm. Back and forth between these two. And again, Chase catches Saturo with three forearms. Four forearms. Five, and Saturo drops to the mat. Chase now. Up at the top of that ladder, tightly in hand. Drake pushes that ladder from underneath him, catches him on his shoulders and delivers the electric chair drop. Axe tossed to the outside by Diamond, who gets now tossed to the outside himself by Drake. Spider and Drake in the ring. Spider. Forearm taking Drake off his feet. Now hits him with that ladder as he's trying to get to his feet again. Spider now, only man left standing, climbs to the top of that ladder, is this his moment to pick that title off? Saturo, Axe and Diamond all in the ring, Diamond and Axe now, either side of that ladder, pushes it down, both Spider and Saturo come crashing down to the mat. Chase breaking through, an elbow strike to Drake. Whips him into the centre of the ring. Axe now battling over that ladder with Diamond. Chase and Diamond, both ladders in hand. Chase bringing the ladder into the ring. Drake still laid out in the centre of it. Satura goes underneath the ring and looks to be grabbing a third ladder. Chase, ladder set up in the ring. Climbs that rope, that ladder up to the top. Drake and Chase, centre of the ring, top of the ladder. Spider and Saturo push that ladder from underneath them and they both come crashing down. Saturo now whipping Spider to the outside. Chase laid out. Saturo now back into the ring. Diamond ladder in hand, looks to set it up in the centre. Eats a punch though from Axe, who gets now whipped into the corner by Diamond. Body splash. Chase top of the rope, eating forearms to the back. Chase still at the top of that ladder. Ladder push from underneath him though, gets caught by Saturo and delivers an electric chair drop. Saturo now whipped to the outside, Spider and Diamond in the ring. Drake now joins him. Diamond looking to set that ladder up, eats a forearm across the back, dropping the ladder. Spider now setting that ladder up while Drake delivers a axe across the face of Diamond. Looks like Diamond is about to eat the people's fist, the nation's fist, sorry. Here it comes. Smash. Axe now climbs the ladder with Spider trying to take that title. Drake pushes the ladder from underneath him. Power bomb there by Satura onto the ladders. Spider now rolling to the outside. Andre take down by Diamond Drake. Picks Drake up by the head. Andre take down by Drake on Diamond. Diamond now with a punch to the midsection. Satura rolls out of Chase's attack. Tuck spins him round and whips him straight out of the ring. Axe now. Forearm to Drake. Drops him to the outside. Satura setting up that ladder. Centre of the ring. Diamond still stood in the corner. Axe now spots Satura to the top of that ladder. Watching him touch that ladder and hasn't decided to hit him, but Drake, Diamond Drake that is, pushes the ladder from underneath him, catches Satura and delivers a power bomb onto the corner of that ladder. Diamond now eats a forearm 
from Spider, who looks to deliver a suplex to Jake. Rolls through and delivers a neck breaker. Now a boot to the back. Spider to his feet though, delivers a double blow to the face of Diamond. Backdrop. Chase though, looking to fall out. Smash. The back of Spider eats a forearm of his own. Drake of the nation, top of the ladder. Gets up, eats a power bomb from Chase after the ladder is pushed from underneath him. Bodies everywhere. Hard to keep up with this action. Satoru setting up that ladder again, centre of the ring. Going for top. Axe battling with Spider. Satoru has the title in hand. The axe pushes that ladder from underneath him, catches him and delivers a power bomb onto the corner of that ladder. Their bodies must be battered and bruised here. Diamond breaks through with the elbow strike. Whipped onto the apron. Chase ladder in hand. Looking to do some damage with it. But has it pulled away from him now. By Drake. The spider now grabs a hold of that ladder and smashes Drake with it. And then attacks the legs of Drake and Chase at the same time. Drake looking for that DDT but gets countered there by Spider. Spider ladder in hand, centre of the ring. Satoru and Diamond laid out on the outside. Chase out of view. Drake now trying to get to his feet. It stomps to the back there by Spider. Spider looking as if he's waiting for Drake to get to his feet. Stunner, stunner there by Spider. Chase climbing up that ladder, it's set up in the centre of the ring, but Spider pushing it from out from underneath him. But he gets caught by Satoru now and gets an electric chair drop to the mat. Spider again looking to wait for Drake to get to his feet and delivers another stunner. Satoru, ladder in hand, sets it up, sent it with the ring. Spider and Satoru, the only two men standing in the ring. But Spider climbing that ladder. Saturu pushing it from underneath him and he lands on top of Drake. Saturu looking to break free but Chase counters the counter. Chase now, ladder in hand, setting it up, centre of the ring. Drake too busy taunting this crowd here. Chase climbs that ladder with Drake already on it, pushes the ladder from underneath him before he can reach the top. DDT there by Drake to Saturu. Diamond now setting that ladder. Drake climbs the ladder. Diamond just standing there. Now gets to push the ladder from underneath him before he can reach the top. Satoru looking to climb through to the ropes but eats a boot to the back there by Spider. Spider waiting for Satoru to get to his feet. No, climbs the back and starts punching him to the face. Axe with a forearm smash drops Diamond to the outside. Spider climbing that ladder. He's at the top now. Axe looking to push that ladder for the way from underneath him. He has Spider caught by Chase and delivers an electric, electric chair drop. Now Axe whips the outside and standing on the apron. Drake whipping Saturi, drops him to the outside. Diamond Drake on the outside of Saturi. Two men laid out in the ring, Spider and Chase. Diamond now back into the ring, whips Axe to the outside, Chase and Spider now both back to their feet. Drake of the Nation is at the top of that ladder, title in hand. Chase smashes Spider into that ladder but it doesn't knock over. And there you have it, the winner of this match, Drake from the Nation of Domination and your new Cruiserweight Champion. Here you see suplex there. The sit down power bomb by Diamond. The diamond cutter on Spider. The spine buster by Drake on Satoru. And here you have it. The moment that Drake climbed back at her and took the title for his own. And he is now Havoc's cruiserweight champion. There he is, title in hand. That's all for part one. Make sure you stay tuned for part two.
as always people like subscribe and share i hope to see you there